Dirk here from Dirk's Dystopia. Um, I've had a lot of requests from my review of TT Combat's industrial sector terrain to see uh, what I did with it after it was painted, what it looks like. Uh, and finally, uh, a very long time later, I'm finally getting around to that. I pulled this out and set it up. So um, this is basically what I have. Big crane hanging out at the top. And then lots and lots of layers, endpoints. Get a little bit closer of the paint in just a second. Just kind of want to do an overview of everything that's available with this whole set. Um, it's quite uh, impressive, actually. It's just how much terrain they give you. So kind of extends out over there. Um, <clears throat> full disclosure, uh, I actually have a large amount more of um, barricades that kind of clip on like this uh, that I have not even painted yet because as you can see I have so many. Um, not saying I, I would never use them and I will get to them eventually but I just have not painted them yet. I just painted these um, and it's still a pretty good coverage over a lot of the terrain. Um, so uh, I learned a lot doing this terrain. It was the first MDF terrain I painted. Um, and I tried some new stuff. I tried to keep the basic scheme real simple. Um, it's just a silver spray and then kind of an airbrushed um, black wash over it and then just some rusting effects. And then I tried to just take extra time to put um, hazard striping on a lot of stuff like so. Um, and I've learned a lot about that stuff too. Um, when I, the original spray, the silver spray I did, and I wasn't paying attention when I bought it and it was a gloss silver spray. Um, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly which one of these was the first one. I think it was one of these. And then you can see like when I um, painted, or when I peeled off the taping, it actually peeled off the, the black wash and it was right down to the silver and even at some points peeled off the silver because it had been too much too shiny of a or too smooth of a surface surface and I panicked a little bit at first but then I went in and I'm like oh it actually you know looks like damaged hazard striping and so I just ended up rusting it up yeah in fact in this spot here you can actually see through to the silver paint uh, because the washing had come off but I rolled with it and I ended up doing it across all of the um, the stuff on purpose after that and I think the, the effect comes through really well uh, it looks really disused um, so uh, I learned about that and just kind of a quick way to get this painted and then just added little rust you know I added some of the agrel and earth you can see kind of that cracked earth down there uh, underneath um, just some little spots here and there you can kind of see some stuck on the side there um, just to add little bits of flare here and there to try and kind of make it look a little bit more worn but as you can see overall um, it's a huge sprawl um, it can take up um, i've got it kind of turning back on itself a bunch but it can easily dominate an entire table six this is on a six by four table right now um, tons of this is oh, this is industrial sector one and two i believe um, and then I do have one, the one crane hanging out up at the top there. Uh, but that's what we have there. Um, there are uh, extra ladders, so you can see there are some ladders built in already. Um, but there are extra ladders, again, more than I probably will ever need. Um, so there's tons of variability to do with that. You know, if you're, you know, looking at playing Kill Team or Necromunda, you want a lot of ways up and down. You don't want it to be one super easy choke point, unless that's the story you're trying to tell. So overall, uh, that's it. Guys, go ahead and like, subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It helps me keep bringing this stuff uh, to you guys. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, hit me with a comment below.